In this video, you'll learn five tips for recording great tutorials. Tip number one, record your audio or your video first, but not both at the same time. It's easier to make mistakes when you're doing two things at once. Record video first if you're doing a step tutorial. For example, showing how to solve a math problem with many steps. Focus just on making your drawings and your steps very clear. Then rewind, turn the mixer on, and narrate what you are doing. Try recording your audio first if you're doing a report, and then go back and add visuals to support your narration. And don't just read your report. Think about pausing. Where will you need a moment to show a picture or have a little time to pan an image or slowly zoom in? Include those pauses when you record your narration. Tip number two. Try recording in chunks. Record a small bit, stop and prepare, then record the next bit. Often, students record a project in a single take without ever pausing the recording. They end up recording every action they take, including the mistakes. Mistakes can be avoided by recording in smaller bits. Think about what you want to say or show, record that one part, then pause the video and prepare for your next part. Even actions that aren't mistakes can add up to make your video painful to watch. Do you really think people want to watch you do things you could have prepared earlier? Imagine having company over but waiting until they arrived before you started cleaning up and preparing for their visit. That brings me to my next tip. Get your graphics and your drawings ready before you start recording. You can import or create your graphics ahead of time and then just keep them off the stage for later use. Tip number four, rewind and watch your recording often. Finding mistakes is much easier if you catch them early. I've seen students make mistakes that required they delete half their video to fix. By recording in small pieces and rewinding and reviewing often, you'll catch mistakes before it's too late. Finally, tip number five, find your microphone and speak near it when recording audio. Different iPads have the microphones in different places. Find it and don't change your position when you start to record. In other words, stay in one place as you record. If you move your head or pick up the iPad, it will affect the audio. The number one cause of bad audio recordings is holding the iPad while recording. Setting your iPad down will make a huge difference in audio quality. I hope you find these tips useful. Now, go forth and explain.